Hey my loves, welcome and welcome back to yet another video. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome and I hope that you actually stay and subscribe to my channel and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys will be notified when I post future videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey baby, how are you doing? What it do? Thank you so much for returning. As you guys can see from today's title of the video, I'll be giving you guys some tips that I used in grade 12 to, you know, get some distinctions, you know. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are very smart and they pass, period. So I'll be giving you guys some tips and tricks that I personally used when I was in grade 12. Now, these tricks you can use, um, whether you're in grade 11 10 9 and 8 it doesn't necessarily you don't necessarily have to use them specifically when you're in grade 12 it actually they are actually versatile you can use them in any type of grade and i'm pretty sure they will work i've been using them so of course they will work so um yeah they are um they are almost more specifically for grade 12s but like I said, you could also use them in grade in the other grades as well. So um, yeah, I have um, my little book here. I will be, you know, looking down every now and then because I had to write them down so that I don't skip or miss anything. So um, yeah. So if you guys see me looking down, please remember that I am using my um, note. I finished my grade 12 2020 so you already know that you are in you know the pandemic child a lot was happening we didn't have school for months and um, we couldn't study we couldn't you know study because we didn't have any you know physical teacher in front of us or any type of help to you know what to study what to do and everything so um yeah these tips and tricks actually helped me pass my grade 12 in 2020 so um yeah hopefully they actually help you pass as well in fact they will period so, yeah and also i got my nails done so if you see me talking with my hands you already know it's actually important so you need to cut out any type of distractions i repeat you need to cut out any type of distractions what i mean by distractions is you need to cut out friends especially toxic friends you need to block out any family drama you having sorry you need to cut out any boyfriend drama you having girlfriend drama you're having or whatever that will actually take your attention away from your studies so if you have toxic friends you need to you know remove yourself and be alone so that you can study and focus on your school and your schoolwork and if you have family drama you need to actually you know just let's sit there it could wait for you if it wants to and if it doesn't that's okay too but what's important is for you to actually look at your studies and to look at you know your schoolwork and everything so any type of distraction you need to cut it cut it and that's on what i know that's right if you have you know usually what happened in grade 12 for us we had you know grade 12 groups so it was very important for us to actually have um whatsapp and uh, to um get you know what topics to do next um any type of information or help we could get from the teachers through you know whatsapp groups so um yeah but you're gonna have to you know uninstall tiktok uninstall instagram uninstall any type of social media whether it is pinterest facebook whatever it is you have to cut it out and the only thing you have to be left with is whatsapp for you to be able to ask questions from your classmates or your teacher whatever the case may be and um yeah you don't necessarily have to literally just cut it out like i said but it's very important for you to actually you know cut out social media as a whole except for you know whatsapp for it is important next one is 
pay attention in class this one is also very very important because paying attention in class is just something that you're supposed to do you need to pay attention in class listen attentively ask questions this is so important i know that it is so hard to ask questions in class especially with a lot of people you know around you it's either you feel stupid for not understanding or being slow to understanding something but believe me you it's actually not that deep if you're scared to ask questions always just sit back and be like it's not that deep everyone in this class is actually looking for help there's actually there's probably someone sitting in your class that actually wants to ask the question but he's too scared to ask it so you have to be brave enough to ask the question for you and many other people so ask questions there's nothing wrong with asking questions there's absolutely nothing wrong with not understanding a certain thing or being slow to actually understand it there's nothing wrong always ask questions like it's very important to ask questions especially if you're literally in class and you like with the teacher it'll be much easier than you um getting help from somewhere else whereas that person might not even you know give you the correct answer so it's very important to ask questions ask 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 questions as many as you can if you feel the teacher is irritated hey unfortunately i'm gonna have to be that girl it is her job it is his job he has to answer them questions he has to help you out it's their job that's what they are there for so um yeah ask questions ask questions ask questions ask questions always 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 i cannot stress this enough always ask questions this also leads me to my um another point is that i always arrived early I'd wake up at like five and get done before half past five and then leave the house at ten to quarter to six, get a bus at six, um then get a bus at six, then get to school at like at like sorry, at like twenty past six or half past six. That actually gives me time to study. Or to read the next um, topic or next chapter and before anyone else gets to school so it gives me time to study from half past six to um, like half past seven or seven also finish my homework before anybody else I know that it's very hard to finish your homework the night before or the day before but there's always you know um, that one question that you need to actually research if you have school if you have Wi-Fi at school so I'd always you know um, do my homework and then leave out the stuff that needs me to research and do them the next morning at school so like I said it just gives me time to look at my schoolwork to you know um, study to read you know reading school reading books before hand before anyone gets to school it's very 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 important so yeah and also helps you to you know not be late i mean do not be late please yay do not be late do not miss any first um classes that you will have it's very important for you to not miss any of those classes or any other class during the day whatsoever so um yeah get to school early do not miss any type of class no periods do not like get to school early always make sure to eat before you leave the house i was a person that never ate at school i only ate whenever i felt comfortable unfortunately i probably said that this before but my social anxiety doesn't allow me to eat in front of other people i feel like people are looking at me or i feel like i'm making noisy sounds it's probably I know it's self-diagnosed social anxiety, but it's probably me being, you know, self-cautious or conscious. Yeah, probably that. But it, I just couldn't eat in front of other people. So I wouldn't eat the whole day. And I'd make sure to eat in the morning. Like, always make sure to eat in the morning before you leave the house. Always make sure to eat. 
throughout the whole year make sure to eat before you leave the house you do not want to collapse child not that i collapsed or fainted at school but you don't you do not want that type of attention yeah you need to eat before you this leave. one is carry all your books now by books i mean i specifically mean text books it is so not enough to actually listen in class but to also you know read as the teacher um goes and you know and i feel like that makes you understand more makes you you know get a better understanding at what the teacher is talking about i mean just looking at a teacher like this and just listening is literally not enough you need to listen and read listen and read along with the teacher so um yeah so i used i used to carry all my books writing books or if i wouldn't carry my writing books i'd carry a um, exam pad and then i have to you know paste the paper when i get home in my books or um rewrite it when i get home which is a whole lot of work you want to rest when you get home so carry all your books i mean that's way too much admin getting home and have to rewrite everything plus homework plus studying plus reading too much admin just carry all your books and another way that i carried my books is an extra bag i think it's called a duffel bag sorry i think it's called a duffel bag yeah it's probably a duffel bag i don't know but i'll put the name right here carry an extra bag a library bag or whatever that actually help, helps so you have your school bag and your duffel bag on the side it makes you look serious as well it makes you look you know smart clever you know what it this do. one is so important child i cannot stress this enough i know i'm actually stressing each and every thing tip that i'm giving you guys but this one i cannot stress enough so make sure to do all your assignments and tasks i repeat make sure to do all your assignments and tasks this is so important make sure to do them and make sure that when you do them you give it your best and if you can't understand something get help so i know that we never got to leave with the assignments in grade 12 we could only do them in class unless the due date is literally tomorrow and the teacher would be like you know what i know that you guys don't have enough time and some of you are way like behind you guys are like in question two or whatever the case may be so i'm giving you guys this day this whole day to finish your assignment and then later in the day you get to the staff room and give it to me so unless that but you need to give your assignments your all get help if you must in the classroom and if the teacher allows you to leave with the assignment or task then you can get help from other teachers get help from other teachers that are actually in the same field work as your um you know actual teacher so like my actual mathematics grade 12 teacher mathematical literacy get grade 12 teacher i also had another teacher that was you know teaching the same field as her mathematic literacy which is Miss Kula, and i always you know went to her for help it's very important to get any type of help that you can get so um yeah go out to other teachers as well go out to your last grade teachers just ask questions or go to other classes that um have the same subject as you and get help like all the help that you can get and also this actually boosts your you know India results like literally they actually you know skyrocket your India results so you have no choice than to actually do these and give it your best shot ask questions get help so that you can get your marks marks boosted at the end of the year so the next one which actually leads me to the next one is make sure you are present when writing tests or exams i repeat make sure you are present when you are writing tests 
or exam. Another one that I cannot stress enough. If you are sick, make sure that you get a doctor's note. Very important. Make sure to get a doctor's note and make sure if you're not sick, but like the days before you, you write, make sure that you don't get sick. I don't know how you're going to do that, but just make sure you don't get sick. And if you are sick, just make sure that you drink your medication and, you know, to listen, you know, the symptoms or whatever to listen your fever or whatever it is that you have but make sure if it's like really really like bad and you have to stay at home and go to the doctors make sure to get a doctor's note so that you will be permitted to write your tests i don't know about exam i don't think you can rewrite an exam except for the next year especially in grade 12 but in the other grades i think some teachers do allow you to rewrite it but a different set of paper with the same topics, but it's different um, paper set, but same topics. So, um, yeah, but in grade 12, I don't think you're allowed to rewrite exams. So you want to make sure that you do not get sick, literally. I don't know how you're going to do it. I also did it. I made sure not to get sick whatsoever. So make sure to not get sick. Just try not to get sick. Just try not to get sick. For my sake and your sake, I beg. Just don't get sick. I don't know how you're gonna do that, but just try. Try not. The next one is study for all your tests, assignments, and exam. Study. I know you're probably looking at me like study for an assignment. Yes, study for your assignment. If you do not know what's going to be in the assignment, always make sure that you go to your teacher and ask her what will be, like to give you a scope on what will be in the assignment and also in tests and also in exams. Get, you know, a scope or whatever so that you know what to study for. Unfortunately, in grade 12, there is no specific scope, but in the other grade, grades, you get scopes. But in grade 12, you do not get any type of scope. You get, you study everything everything that's why it's very important for you to be ahead and also to study while at school like right now you get everything get your textbooks and everything you study sorry you study ahead and you read ahead so that when you get to term four or at the end of the year you do not have much to study you just going you just recapping and going through everything so um yeah so make sure to study for each and every exam. That's all I have to say. Just study, 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 study. That's it. Just study your work. So there's always, you know, those specific um, short story books, um, novel books. What do you call those books? I forgot, but there's always reading books that you're given. Please make sure to read those books. Like read each and everything that is given to you. So if you have short stories and there are like seven stories in the book that you have to read, make sure to read all those book, all those stories, all those stories. If you have to read them twice or three times, do it. And if you're read given a um a book that is that doesn't have short stories but like a reading book, like a closer book, make sure to read it. Like read the whole thing. Just read it. Just read it. Number one, it kills time. Number two, it's very important. It saves you a lot. When you're rereading it with the class, you get to understand as the teacher goes and also know that, oh yeah, I also actually had the same idea or I actually noticed that this part has, you know, this part or whatever the case may be, but it actually helps a lot. Because now you're actually reading it, you know, not, you read it alone. Now you're reading it with the class, which is you're reading it twice. So, um, yeah, it helps a lot. Also, it helps a lot with the questions. It helps the stories to be literally embroidered in your head, tattooed in your head. So, um, yeah, it makes it easy for you to answer questions at the end of the year. Very easy. Make sure to read all your books, Afrikaans books, Tswana books, Zulu books, whatever language you are doing besides um, including English. So yeah, read your books, read, 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 read your books. Very important. 
it actually helps a lot i'm not even capping i'm not even lying to you guys read your books it helps so much so the last one is put god first is that right ironic i'm pretty sure that's ironic because i decided to put that point lost but put god first i know you're probably looking at me like why would you put that last and then say put god first when you actually put it lost but why is it lost i have a reason and the reason is i know from myself from experience that when someone says something say for instance i said put god first at the beginning as my first point now it is covered by each and every other point that uh, i did and you no longer remember the first point that i did that i um that I gave so putting God first is very very important and that's why I put it lost so that you guys can remember what I'm saying like it will be you it won't be covered up by anything or any other topic any other point that I did you will just remember that it's very important for you to put God first if you are a, if you are a religious person so putting God first is very 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 crucial and important put god first pray so what i did was i prayed when i woke up i prayed when i i'm, I'm about to leave the house i prayed when i get got to the bus stop i prayed when i got on the bus i prayed when i got off the bus off the bus I prayed when I was walking to school. I prayed when I before I set my foot on school grounds, before I entered the school hall or the classroom. I made sure to pray. And also when I get home, on my way home, you get the gist. But always pray, put God first, ask him for protection, guidance, what to study for, like what topics to actually look at what topics you know just pray put god first like he must be the center of your grade like literally the center of each and everything that you do including school so always make sure to put god first and um yeah you will definitely post i mean he does say that ask and you will receive so sorry pray and ask for guidance and you will receive it and um oh yeah another thing before i forget before i forget is also write down okay so your report your, your report can i speak properly for once so your report card has four columns this is what actually helped me. So your report card has like four columns. It's term one, two, three, and four. So if you, let's say for instance, in term two, you got a 40% for mathematic literacy or whatever subject that you are doing. What you want to do is in term three, next to term two, you want to write the percentage of what the percentage that you would like in that term so you're gonna write probably for english you're gonna write you got 60 percent, so you want to write 70 for mathematical literacy you got 40 so you want to write 50 but no no I, they do say actually aim higher so you're probably gonna write so for mathematical literacy you got a 40 so you will write a 60 or 70 so that whatever whatever happens you will fall on a 50 55 60 65 you know i don't know if that makes sense but yeah always you know write a higher percentage like for english you got a 60 you want to aim for a 90 or 80 so that you're able to fall on a 70 75 type of scale is it scale percentage sorry percentage so um yeah always you know that also helped me writing all the percentages that i would like down and each and every now and then when i would study i would look at um that 
look at my report card and the percentages that I would like. So, um, yeah, this also helped me to study more and um, to, you know, um, do my schoolwork and everything. So, um, yeah, I guess we have come to the end of our video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed actually talking to you guys and you know writing and planning out this video so um yeah like i said if you haven't subscribed please make sure to smash that subscribe button turn on your post notification bell so you guys will be notified when i post future amazing banging fun content videos on my channel and also join my family and if you are a returning subscriber i love you guys so 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 much thank you for returning stay beautiful stay blessed and that's on what period i know that's right and never ever wrong bye